Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. Today we'll have a look at the uh, group by clause in SQL. So group by clause is used whenever you want to group the identical data in your table. So take a look at this table, that is employee table. Uh, you have uh, different columns over here. Uh, we'll take this example like uh, see if you want to know uh, how much uh, sal total salary is each department getting, each department number is getting. And at that time, group by clause will come into use. But I want to say, like, department number 10 is getting this much of total salary, or department 20 is getting this much of salary. Then we can use the group by clause. So, first of all, let us uh, have a look at the uh, syntax of the group by clause. So, group by clause uh, you know, comes with uh, the select statement. So, the syntax is in, goes like this. That is, select column 1, column 2 from the table, then uh, you can specify the conditions over here using where clause, sorry, okay, then comes the group by clause. The group by clause, you need to specify all the columns that is um, specified over here. If you, uh, you if you are like usually aggregate functions will be used whenever using group by clause. At that time, excluding the aggregate functions, you should be specifying all the columns. That is, you should say group by column one, column two. Whatever you are using, the column names you are using here, make sure that you are using it here also. So this, I'm going to say column one, column two. Then comes you can use order by column 1, comma, column 2. So this is how the go by clause uh, syntax is going to look like. So let us go and uh, execute a query here uh, for the uh, department like uh, how much um, salary, total salary is uh, each particular department getting. So I'm going to say select. I want the department number first and then I'm going to say sum of salary. So this is the aggregate function. Hope you people have no, uh, no have a knowledge about the aggregate functions like sum, max, min, count. So if you don't have any ideas, then just uh, go back and have a uh, no Google it out, learn something about aggregate function and come back here. So I'm going to use the uh, this um, sum function. I'm going to sum of salary. Then from employee table. And I'm going to say group by. And I don't have any conditions over so I'm not using that loss. So I'm going to say group by. I want it to group by department number. Okay. So if I execute this query, you can see that. Um, uh, the you know you can see that the department number 30 the total salary is 9400 and department uh, number 20 is getting almost 10875 so it, the you know the sum is being splitted uh, in such a way that uh, you know you were able to see how much uh, amount of salary is each department getting so now if i want to put some condition for this sum of sal like if i want to say i want to know I want to display uh, the rows only uh, where the salary, the sum of salary is like above 9,000. And uh, remaining, like I don't want the department 10 to get displayed, that is having just 8,150. At that time, you cannot, usually, you know, um, whenever you want to specify conditions, you use your where clause, right? You say select star from, or you say select department number, sum of sal from employee there, sum of sal, uh, some, something like sum of sal is, um, greater than 9000. Here, when you know that sum of sal is an aggregate function, so whenever you are um, going to specify some condition based on the aggregate function, at that time this where clause will not come into use. At the time only, uh, this having, uh, usually a group by will come along with having. Okay? See, I'm, uh, you, you can see how I'm going to specify the condition over here. I'm going to say from employee. 
and I'm going to say group by department number. Then I'm going to say having sum of cell should be greater than 9000. Having is used only when the aggregate uh, aggregate functions based conditions are used. Okay. So you can say the department number 10 is uh, rolled out and uh, only this um, you know, department number 20 and 30 is getting is shown because we have put a condition that sum of sal should be greater than 9000. So hope you people have understood uh, about group by and having having clause. Uh, if you still have some queries then uh, let me know just um, uh, write it down below this video and uh, surely I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, please do uh, subscribe and like my videos. And thank you for watching.